Hey you guys, so I am out and about. Um, me and Radeja, who is in Gather Ministries, we're about to have lunch really fast. Um, and then I have some errands to run, but waiting for her to come out and we just gonna go to this ramen place. Lately, ramen has been the thing. Um, shout out to Nina, Trey, and Leah for putting us on noodles because now we like been craving it. So me and Radeja about to head to this noodle spot in Corktown. We'll show you guys how that looks. Um, I believe that you guys already saw it if you've watched this previously. If not, you're gonna see it here and then um i have a few errands to run per usual and that's really it but that's really my day on this rainy day um but thank you god for health life and strength per usual um so yeah so here we are the weather is not nice but here's the place that we're going to i still have errands to run mm -hmm. hi oh i didn't even realize your hair was down mm -hmm. <laughs> it's cute so let's go and get the noodles. So here we have our our chicken pho. Is it chicken pho? Chicken pho. Chicken pho. <laughs> How do you like it? Pretty good. It is? Not my favorite, but pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and here's a close look. So we made it to Target. Y'all know I love Target. <laughs> um, had to grab a few things from Target. So we're headed here, see what they got. And that's about it. We just hanging out basically. And um, that's it. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> hey, you guys. So we're about to call it a night. We are getting ready to hit the road in the morning, just a few hours later. It's about 8.30. Um, we're gonna hit the road to head to Virginia, Newport News, Virginia. Um, that is where my hubby is from. So we try to make sure we we try to make sure we um, visit as often as possible, um, Lord willing. And we had an opportunity to do so, so we'll be headed there for excuse me the holidays. Not only that, I was able to get my appointment in with my optician. Um, my hair is flourishing, which I'm really excited about right now. It doesn't look like anything because it hasn't been styled, but, um, nothing much is going on. Like I said, we are just shutting it down and Donovan is getting the dogs ready and then we're going to head out. Um, I'm just loving, like, it's starting to look like a little forward. Um, but anyways, just wanted to head on here and say hi to you guys. So we will see you guys soon in the a.m. to the gather people, people.
So here is the final school. Donovan, then his dad, then me and his mom. And we out. Good morning. It is a Sunday morning here at Gather. We are getting ready for our discipleship training class. We got about 30 minutes until class start, but I plan on giving you guys a sneak peek so you can see what it's like having class here at Gather and just the interaction that our students are able to have just with comments and questions and just really learning the Bible in a non-boring way. So, see ya. Of the justice that they should have gotten, which we see that today. Okay. That's basically what they were doing. So the, the context of, if I'm correct, I mean the context of David, he was talking about leadership. Like he was talking about to the overall leadership of the children of Israel and that they were not doing the actions that were required from the spiritual requirement. This is why I have leadership in place, to Shemiko's point. Um, and I think in other versions, it, it says justice, but it's talked about it as it's the right of the poor. Like you are denying them their right yes. to something that, they, that I have ordained that they deserve. Again, whenever we see the word transgression used in the Bible, these people knew better and chose to do contrary. So he puts it together to let you know what I mean by transgression. Their backslidings have increased. So now when a lion comes and kills them and a wolf from the desert comes and destroys them and this leper comes, don't be crying talking about some oh God, you so me. No, 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 because I said transgressions are many. Many times have they just gone against my word to did whatever they wanted to do, backslid, and just kept backsliding and kept backsliding and kept backsliding. And we got to know in this cycle, he kept saying, stop doing that. Repent. Come to me. And people would not. That's what I'm saying. Like, I never felt like yeah. it was like, oh, you. I always, I always did. Well, I didn't know you. Well, I'm, saying, <laughs> I'm saying when I learned backsliding, I knew that that was a serious violation. Yeah. So. Like he was around the old mamas, whereas us, we like, I feel like if they dead and gone, so we got the new people that just out there and just don't yeah. care. So I'm here, like, how Jonathan heard it. Because uh, I was like, oh, it's just a normal thing. You and your back to the state, they didn't really say much, like, you know, they gonna come out or you should come out. It was just more so you backslid and that was it. I just felt like it was wrong, but that was just me personally. Where someone else was just like, girl, you good. You will come out of it later. Where you had the mom was like, no, you going to hell if you don't go. But right? the way God sees it, it is malicious. I see what he's saying, because there's definitely been times in the past where I was like, dang, I know Jesus about to be sad if I do this. But I didn't. Like, yeah, so it wasn't like I wanted to hurt him, but I knew it was going yeah. to do something. Like you said, it's it's just, yeah, we try to clean it up. Be like, well, it's not malicious. It seemed like an indictment, not you. Yeah. yeah. That's I'm like, like, y'all must think that yeah. yeah. somebody would have ever said that. One rejection of my word led to like, another rejection. Oh, my God. What about <laughs> I see what, like, oh, yeah, that's. Because I'm thinking about how, you know how pastors, um, they know the word, but sometimes. I'm trying to say they don't believe or they just do it for money. You get what I'm saying? Or they put bring sin in their church. Okay. So when they go to hell, it's a bigger punishment. That's how I see it, like backsliding. So is those two different? Are those? Well, that is a backsliding in the sense of you know, number one, as a shepherd, you're supposed to protect the flock. Mm -hmm. Number two, you shouldn't be bringing in false false doctrine mm -hmm. in my church. Number three, you turn from the love of me and my people to the love of money. So you're backslidden. Okay. You have slid back Dang. from my word, from my principles, from your duty, from your obligation. Mm -hmm. That's what backsliding is. The word is here, and I start to backtrack backwards. Like Michael Jackson did that. Move on. You start backsliding, and you slide back from where you're supposed to be. <laughs> and you get so far back. <laughs> Like God don't care, you sliding back. So. No, that's really interesting though, Andrew. That's really good that you brought that up because like Donna was just saying, you know, like the old church moms, you know, you you miss church in like two weeks. You ain't been there. Oh, you backsliding, ain't you? Right. But it's like 
the whole leader of the church backslide, but nobody would ever call him a backslider because they put putting on a front. And it's like, wow, to avoid being called a backslider, all you gotta do is show up every week. Oh, yeah. really? So what did you think backsliding was? I mean, I knew, like, it was just like, oh, you're just not doing what you're supposed to do. But it was like, eh, lollygagging kind of thing. Like, I didn't think it was like a... Procrastination. Like, that's how you play it. Like, it, it never... Uh, it never yeah. Well, I'm glad we have this discussion. Yes. <laughs> according to what you feel, if you were talking this story out, what makes the most sense? What scriptures... And I've bolded and underlined the key point of the scripture. Thank you. So with that, you look like and see, okay, this probably should go before this. Maybe I should talk about this before this. And that's how you would organize Hey, King Yeah, no, 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 but keep that one up there so it's going to know. That's what I'm saying, don't That's what I'm trying to do. Two more minutes. Okay. Two more minutes. Okay. Two more minutes. Oh, this is how you always go at the end. Remember the first paper we had? I don't know. That's what I did. Yeah. Yeah. So you just said he died. So then what happens? Um, okay. We had one that said the throne to life. Oh, Okay, so yeah, that's the one we're going with. Team A. So he was never buried? What? Yeah. Here we go. We got to tell the story. How it happened. He died. This goes so much naturally without singing the scripture. Yes. So he died. We got him dying. You said he cried out on Mark. We was at Mark. He cried out with a loud voice and gave up the ghost, right? Mm -hmm. So then what happened? Did he, he die? So. Um, so he was buried. Three nights in the heart of Yep, so he was buried, right? All right, everybody can explain. Adam brought sin into the world. We know that um, the wages of sin is death. Yes. And now we know to counter that, life is in the blood. That's all the scriptures we explain. So let's go. Keep going. All right. Well, he's the last to go back out there. Bob. All right. <laughs> so he did Hebrews 9. 22, which said, and without shedding of blood, no, there's no remission. All right. Yep. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs>